What's going on everybody? It's your boy Clink with a quick, quick video. Well, it happened. Woke up this morning, it was snowing. It's uh, about 34 degrees out here right now. Still got clouds and stuff. A little bit of a breeze. Not much snow left on the ground though, just a couple little white spots here and there. Not enough to really worry about it now, but I did cover up the bike last night with a cover. Plugged it into the to the tender and now it's off to go pay one of my bills and to go get some stuff for dinner so hang tight we'll be right back Peace. so yeah there I am hi um yeah so unfortunately we did get snow it's not horrible yet that's a plus but it is uh, wet and it's still cold out but it's supposed to be cold out part of next week but not wet or snow until towards the end of next weekend but we're supposed to be getting hammered towards the end of next week and I won't be able to do motor vlogging on my bike at all next week because well, Monday morning taking off bright, well, not even bright, way extremely early, probably about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, heading to Salt Lake for her doctor's appointments. Tuesday morning, I head into work and drive to Ely for the week and be back Friday. When I get back Friday, it's supposed to be snowing and way worse than this. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but, oh, we got flashy lights too, so it looks like I'm gonna turn and left, but there is white stuff falling from the sky white stuff falling from the sky is no bueno for me I know there's a lot of people out there that love the snow I'm not one of them I'm one of those people that likes you know warm dry weather must have been an accident up there they got it all blocked off so that's alright we'll turn this way and just go this way Anyway, this is a different view for you all. This is inside my old second gen Dodge. It's falling apart, but it's still, it was falling apart when I got it, just fell apart worse, but it still runs every single day. We'll be right back. Yeah. It's snowing even more. White stuff is falling. And I don't like it. Some of you think it's pretty. I think it stinks because now I can't ride the bike. Because it's going to start getting slippery. And two wheels and slick surfaces don't get along either. But... Got this little uh, handheld setup for the GoPro with the external microphone to plug into it, so we can vlog like this too, huh? Yeah, not too impressed with the snow. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, be back. Gotta pull in the air and pay this bill. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> I'm not used to working this camera without it not without it being on my helmet. I know exactly what buttons to push to turn it on, off, and make all the adjustments and stuff on the camera. So, as I was trying to shut off the camera as I was pulling in the parking lot, um, <laughs> I was pushing all sorts of buttons I didn't need to push. But we're back for a moment. I want you guys to please comment on this video if you want me to continue shooting and making content while driving around town in the truck too this winter or if you guys really just want to see the motorcycle videos let me know in the meantime I have got to go get gas in said truck because well that's right gas lights on <laughs> it's saying it needs some fuel 
nine to one, ten dinosaurs. Yup, yup, yup. So that's where we're heading next. Go put some fuel in this thing, and then I gotta run up to the store and get stuff for her dinners next week because I'm going to be gone all week and get some stuff for dinner tonight and then go home. Yay. Well, pulling in to get gas. We'll be back. Hockey dokey, we got the fuel. <laughs> no longer is that little light on. It's got the full taken up. Yay. That only cost $52. Not bad. Considering the fuel light was on, we were almost out of fuel. And now on to the Walmart. Yay. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do. What can do, what can do, what can do. So yeah, if you want to see more content like this as well, throughout the winter time, driving in the snow and doing stuff like this in the old Dodge, let me know in the comments. Yeah, there goes Lori. Bye, Lori. <laughs> Must be headed to work or something. I see he's got his work outfit on. Come on, light. There it goes. We go now. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it'll be somewhat of a mild winter again like we had last winter where I got to ride quite a bit. That would be excellent for me. Now, on the other side of this, even though as much as I hate snow and I don't like living in it, but... <laughs> we too broke to be moving anywhere else right now. <laughs> we uh, we actually need the snow and the moisture so bad out here in northeastern Nevada. Because it gets so dry during the summertime. A lot of fire problems. But, you know. Yeah, I don't think it would hurt my feelings that bad if we actually, we actually got a lot of snow this year would help out you know our dry land out here but anyway enough about that stuff how do you like that parking job right in the middle of the way here <laughs> yeah anyway we're pulling in the parking lot of Walmart now so we'll see you guys in just a little bit peace well alrighty we're back well, that was a something else anyway <laughs> I don't know what happened maybe the miners got paid holy crap Walmart is packed and busy but got everything I needed hopefully don't need to go back there well now take that back because of her procedure coming up Monday um, tomorrow she's not allowed to eat solid food so she wanted me to pick up a couple things and one of them things that she wanted, of course, Walmart is completely out of. So, I figured maybe tomorrow I'll take a drive and go see if I can find that because she doesn't need it right this second. But, she will need it. No, oh, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Hi. She will need it at some point soon, as in Sunday. So, in the meantime, I'm on my way home. Time to go relax again. And I did pick up some more Swiffer wet jet cleaning solution stuff so I can clean my floors. Because they are kind of nasty looking now with going in and out of the house with the wet, wet snowy ground outside then coming back inside and walking across the floors. So I'll probably be doing that tonight. So probably won't be relaxing, huh? Alrighty. Found out what all those flashing lights were doing down there on Idaho Street at the end of Fifth Street when we came over the hill and we can see all those flashing lights. Apparently the top half of a telephone pole back behind one of the businesses caught fire. So there were firefighters and stuff out there putting it out. That's what that was all about. And I seen many many faces that I know 
many, many faces I know in Walmart. Every one of them said the same thing. Must be payday for the miners or something because that place is packed. But we're, we got in, got all the stuff we needed pretty much and got out of there. Got fuel in the truck. Hey, we're doing pretty good. Got the money order for rent. Ouch. <laughs> and now, oh, I also got to do that. Because rent was due on the first. Here it is the seventh. I have said before, I am a procrastinator. Wasn't thinking about it, wasn't thinking about it. Then when I thought about it, it was too late. And then today I'm like, well, yeah, at some point today, I need to go get that done. So I got to go fill that out and go drop it off at the main office over there where I live. Got some cleaning to do. And then time to relax. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end the video here. I know it's kind of weird for me to be doing it here in the truck. But I guess this is the first time for everything. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that bell icon. It will notify you when I have new content up on my channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, smash that subscribe button. It helps out the channel every time. Until the next time, like old Clink Boy always says, keep it rubber side down, shiny side up, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.